My hair is up because I didn't have time to do it. I'm filming during my lunch break. Shh, don't tell anyone. What's up? It's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. This is something that every blind person needs to know. Each and every one of you, this is a game changer. I was watching this video that my cousin DM me earlier today. I got all the inspirational, uplifting, encouraging vibes. I'm talking a whole TEDx mood. I don't even know if it was a TEDx talk, but hey, it was giving me those feelings, okay? As I was watching it though, something was something was happening. I can't quite put my finger on it, the feeling. I don't know what the word of it is, but it had me feeling this type of way, and I wanted to share that with you today. A lot of times when we click and consume content that's gonna give us that confidence boost, we're not looking at this person and seeing them as a whole picture, the bigger picture. Every person has their privilege, their pain, and their problems. But when they come on a platform, whether they're talking with a panel or their motivational speaker, wherever you're watching or listening for your encouragement, you don't get the whole scope of this person and their situation. I wanted to bring that to your attention because even me in my, in my little YouTube world, whether I'm potting or vlogging or talking to you like this, you may think that this girl's got it all together. And in some ways I do. I mean, I wake up some days and I'm like, hey, this is my life. I'm legally blind. I make it work. I work two jobs. I vlog, I pod, I put a roof over my head. Sometimes my foundation isn't right, but I do it, all right? And other days, maybe I'm getting out the wrong side. I think, you know what? If it sucks to be blind, but I still get up and I grind anyway, because there's no other option. Whenever I'm listening to these motivational speakers, they're not talking from the trenches. I want to speak to each and every one of you because we're in the middle ground. Most of life is gray. It's hardly black or white. But why is it that we're always reaching out for those people that have overcome the obstacles, living with their limitations and luxury? What about the regular Schmegler people? I don't know. It's just a topic of conversation that I do want to do a matching pod to, so look out for that. It's food for thought, if anything. I think there's so much to be learned. There's so much to be gained and grow from in this exact moment where you're at. And the foundation for that is understanding that it's okay to be not okay. Like I said, sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, you know what, being blind sucks. Like if I could choose, if I could snap my fingers, just like I said in that panel, I was the only person that was like, yeah, I'd want a cure. If there was one, I would take it yesterday. But that's my authenticity. I'll never be the girl that's like, I'm happy to be blind. This is the best thing that happened to me. But if that's your story, that's great. And share it. Scream it from a mountaintop. Someone resonates with you. I think it's a disservice to suppress the people that don't feel that way. I'm not saying wallow in your pain and your misery, though, because we're not about that. I'm saying honor where you're at so you can get to where you want to be. Before I go on a rant, I just wanted to share that as it really, really spoke to my soul. I know a lot of you who have messaged and commented in the past about how you're feeling with vision loss. It's, it's a very complex, touchy situation. I don't want you to look at somebody else because comparison is a thief of joy and wonder why you're not in their place or why your life sucks so much because your life doesn't suck. It's how you're looking at it that sucks. Yes, it sucks with vision loss. Yes, it sucks with X, Y, and Z, but how can you use this to your advantage? How can you use this to process and pull you forward and be better than you were before? That's all I do. I might make it look pretty, but that's literally all I do and that's the basics of it. And I'm never gonna sugarcoat it and make it look easier or better than what it is. And if someone else has come to a place where they fully accepted this and is a part of who they are and they could never envision their life without vision loss, pun intended, that's cool too. And that's aspirational as well. I'm not going to devalue either side of the spectrum because we need all of it to create this bigger, more beautiful, evolved picture. On that note, that reminds me, a couple months ago, this blind chick is like, it sounds like you're at the beginning stages of your blindness journey. Are you thinking about getting a dog or a cane? I told her, I'm not at the beginning stages of my blindness journey. I've been living with this for 10 years. There is no beginning or end. It just is. We're all at different stages and phases. Life is not parent trap. No one can live in your shoes and experience what you've had. You can't just switch it up like that. If that's the case, then no one can tell you how to live and adjust and process what you're going through. So honor what you're going through because only you can live your best life. Only you know what's best for you truly. 
you just have to listen to yourself. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this type of talk. I know I don't usually come on with this tone. This is more for the pod fam, but I just felt like I need to speak on it here. So I hope you liked it. You got something from it. Let a girl know. And until the next video, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.